I think music is a great example of how we've cross-contaminated our bubbles. Yeah, I'm a big rock and roll fan. You guys like rock and roll? Yeah. yeah. Thank God there's some noise. Holy shit. <laughs> you guys have no idea how many times I've asked that question to a room full of adults, and they've looked at me and was like, mm-hmm, we've heard about it on NPR, Krish. <laughs> you know, but rock and roll doesn't exist without influences from blues, jazz, R&B, and gospel. Every church should be playing Led Zeppelin, yes. right? Yeah. Every sermon should end with a stairway to heaven. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that disappointing, though, right? Let's say you're a good Christian. You go to church every Sunday, follow all the rules, try to get a little bit closer to God, and then you get to the afterlife and find out to dig a bunch of fucking stairs all the way up to heaven. Shit, I can take a highway and get to hell in about 40 minutes. <laughs> With traffic. And then we got to a point in our musical history where we combined rap and rock together and people lost their fucking minds, right? Even rap music is incredible. I'm a big rap music fan too, right? Rap music has been influenced by disco, R&B, and gospel. Yeah, that means Kanye West should be thanking God instead of thinking he is one. <laughs>